Did you hear it? Did you hear that collective, oh, yay, hip, hip, hooray? And that was only from the teachers. Yes, it's a snow day. Take a look out there. Lots of snow, ice, a nice storm coming. Well, we're inside where it's nice and cozy and warm and we can make something good to eat. Today we're up to letter X. Now, what could I come up with X? That was a tough one. So we're making an extra special good meal. I know that's kind of lame for X, but I really was having a tough time coming up with something. So we're going to do an extra special. It can be quick and it can take a while. You might like to have the simmering in the crock pot and smell all the good flavorings. Um, or you could do it on the stove top and it could be a lot quicker. But we only need a few ingredients. So our extra special chicken dish today. And it's made in the crock pot and I already have it going <clears throat> right over here. It's already cooking away. And what we need to do is put in the bottom of the crock pot a little bit of olive oil. And then I chopped up an onion and a green pepper. Um, there are other vegetables you could probably add to it if you had some zucchini or some carrots. You could add sweet potatoes, even some things you have around. But this is pretty much the basics. So I chopped up these, put them in the bottom, and added some salt and pepper. And then I took some chicken. Now, I like to buy my chicken, the frozen kind, in the bag. And if you look at the back of it, it's very, um, they're very economical as far as points, too. If you're doing the Points Plus program, this is one piece of chicken. It comes in the frozen bag worth one point. So that's not bad at all. So I put about eight pieces of the chicken on top of the vegetables in the crock pot. Turned it on high, let it simmer away. That's all I had to do. I added a little salt and pepper and um, let it go to time. If you're doing on the stove top, all you need to do is put it on the stove, crank it up. You might want to um, thaw the chicken a little bit, but you can pretty much do the same recipe right on the stove. Again, I like to have it simmering and, and smelling really, really good and something to look forward to. So I, I had that cooking for several hours. And then I put a can of diced tomatoes in on top. And I know that some of you don't like these. And I know this recipe, um, I'm hoping that um, some of my friends who maybe are um, have a little trouble with their gluten. This is gluten free, which would be nice. So this is for you, Catherine. And I know some of my friends don't like the white creamy stuff. They'd much rather have the red sauce. So this is for you too, Marty. I think you're going to like this a lot. So this is very Weight Watcher friendly. Um, it's really wholesome and good for you. And it's one of those comfort foods, again, that we can surely use on one of these cold snowy days. So after the tomatoes are cooking a while, I did add my mushrooms. Again, that's up to you. And I cooked it down a few more hours until um, the chicken started to break apart. And the last thing that I added was some marinara sauce. Again, very low on points. You can see on a used half a jar. I threw it right on top, let it warm up a little bit, and there you have your chicken cacciatore, as easy as that. And it really is extra good. Um, you can eat it plain, or if you want a little something heartier, I cook some tortellini. One of my favorite pastas is tortellini. There are 19 of them on here. Nice size, four points plus, which isn't bad. And you consider um, there's going to be a lot of other vegetables and things right on top of this. So um, I'm going to show you what it looks like right in here in the crock pot. It makes a gigantic amount. This is halfway full, by the way. And I'm just going to take some and put it right over top of my tortellini. And I'm going to really call this Probably the tortellini's four points, the chicken would be two points. This is a six point meal. Delicious, look at that. Look at how delicious that is. So we have a good six point hearty meal here. If you don't have the tortellinis, can you imagine how many points would be a two point meal because the vegetables are zero. The chicken is only one point a piece of chicken and I it cooked down here, I only have two pieces here. So it's an excellent, excellent meal. Very simple, very easy. And you might say, well, then what are we going to top it off with? Well, when I was at the store the other day, I was so lucky to find some fresh strawberries. Now, they're, they might be a little expensive, but let me tell you, what a touch of summer and spring. It was wonderful. I couldn't stop eating them. So what I did, I got some spinach. I cut up a little bit of a tomato, some fresh strawberries, and I even add a little bit of mango right on top of this salad. This salad, as it is, is zero points plus. There's absolutely no points in this. Now we're going to add a few points because I'm going to add a little bit of dressing. 
Now, to jazz it up a little bit, I bought some honey Dijon, and it's um, one point per tablespoon, which isn't bad either, really, we're considering points. But what makes this extra special is I heat it. I just took it out of the microwave. It's nice and hot, and you pour it over the spinach salad. Watch here. It's a little bit. So I added maybe two tablespoons at the most. I added that to the top of the salad. Now, doesn't that look delicious? What a meal. Look at this. How hearty is this? How easy was it to make? And how friendly is it if you're really watching your waist? Um, I know that all of us, especially this time of year, making those resolutions and uh, trying to be healthier. So this is one of those healthy meals. Extra, extra delicious. Oh, even the kitty cat likes it. Huh? Down, down you go. Um, so I want you to give it a try. I hopefully you'll like it. Let me know. Again, you can leave off a tortellini. You could put it over rice. That'd be something that you could do. Or quinoa. There's other things you could put it over. Sometimes I just eat the chicken cacciatore as is. We we'll take a little bit of chicken. Wow, out of this world. Mmm, delicious. And a little taste of salad to go with it. Strawberries in the winter. Nothing could be better. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Outstanding. Really, really good. And again, just heating up that dressing. All the really, really the difference that it makes is, is amazing. It just has a little extra taste to it. I've even, at some point, um, sauteed some turkey bacon and added that to the dressing before I heated it up and that add, again adds another layer another layer of flavoring so I hope you like the recipe I hope you give it a try especially on one of these nice cold and blustery days when you're stuck inside and you don't want to go out usually we have chicken you know in the freezer some tomatoes in the cupboard onions peppers like I said just chop them up throw it in the crock pot put on the lid and in three or four hours there you have a delicious meal it truly is extra special. And so are you. So treat yourself. You don't have to live on celery and cabbage if you're watching your weight. You can really eat well, eat healthy, and as always, I hope you have a really good new year. I hope this is a healthy, happy new year for you and healthy, happy cooking to you. Stay warm.